Hello, hello friends. This is Becky with Becky Budgets. Just wanted to go ahead and come on here to do our weekly uh, cash stuffing. Uh, before I get started, just wanted to let you know that our bank ran out of $50 bills, $10 bills as well. So I've got a lot of fives and 20s. So um, it's gonna be a little interesting today. Um, for those of you who do enjoy this content, please don't be shy. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And if you hit that notification bell below, you'll be notified of any content that I post. To those of you who have been with me for a while, thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch my content. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So as always, I like to empty out my wallet. Here's the change that I've got. And I always put it into our glass change jar, uh, which we will cash in October. It is our anniversary jar. And um, it'll go to fund our anniversary celebrations. Um, as far as personal goes, I have not touched my personal and I haven't fill filled um, the envelope. So that's good. And then with groceries, I actually have, let's see, it's five, six, and seven dollars left in groceries. So we get to go ahead and fill our one dollar savings envelope and our five dollar savings envelope one last time before it gets counted. Um, I had decided that I would count these um, that's the wrong denomination there, that I would count these every quarter just to see how much we actually can save. Um, I still don't know what I'm gonna go ahead and put it towards, but that will be counted when I do our quarterly update. So let me go ahead and set that aside. Now, as far as um, how much we're stuffing today, it is going to be $620. So we've got 100, 200, 300, 320, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I was counting those 20s as 10s. Hold on, let's start over. <laughs> it's just one of those days, guys. So we've got 100, 200, 300, 320, 40, 60, 80, 400. 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 505, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 600, 65, 6, 10, 6, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So all 620 are there. We'll be skipping some. Let's see. And then tons of fives. And then our ones. Perfect. So as always, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with our variable envelope. This week, uh, groceries is gonna go ahead and get $200. So we've got one and two. And that should have its $100 buffer in there. So we've got 100, 200, 250, and $300 in groceries. As I had mentioned yesterday in our paycheck update, my husband is actually gonna be taking two weeks off this month. So with that, I think he's gonna get paid less. And I wanna make sure that we fill our groceries and our gas because those are our most important um, expenditures. So that's got 300. Gas is gonna go ahead and get $100. Now I like to usually put 50s in there, but they didn't have any 50s today. So we're gonna do two, four, six, 
eight, 85, 90, 95, and 100. So let's go ahead and count that. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 100. When I add that to the money that's in our envelope, we currently have 50, 100, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, to 5, 10, 15, and 20. So we have $220. Um, if you saw my spending update from Wednesday, I did fill my gas, so I had to use um, a little bit of what we had put in there, but we have a little leftover. So that leads me to say that we had 20 leftover from last month um, that will go towards this month. Fur Babies is not gonna go ahead and get filled today. It still has its $200. And they are set to go in for a grooming within the next couple weeks and they're running low on food. So I'm glad that we have this there. Personal has not yet been touched. So it currently has 50, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, and 79 dollars. So leaving it in here actually helps me out quite a bit because I have to think things over before I spend them. Uh, my hubby went ahead and um, got his money on his account. He's already spent that. Our miscellaneous fund is going to go ahead and get $50 this week. So we'll do two 20s and two 10s. So that's going to be 20, 40, 45, $50 in our miscellaneous envelope. Eating out will not get filled. And then Snowball is actually getting $170 today. So it's gonna go ahead and get 120, 40, 60, 65, and 70. So let's go ahead and count that. One, 120, 40, 60, 65, and 70. So this is $170. I did wanna set this out because we went ahead and did a um, balance transfer. And our transfer fee was 4%. So it came out to be about 100 and, I wanna say $110, but I wanted to make sure that we got that covered this first check. And then in my Chicago savings, I still have those $21, which is what I rolled with my die earlier, or. I think it was the third week in June um, so that I can start funding that. Perfect. So let's move on to our sinking funds. Uh, luckily, I was worried about my teeth and <laughs> um, our fiscal year actually restarted today. Uh, we go from June and through July. So my HSA has filled up again. So um, part or all of one side of my mouth is covered for my dental and then partial amount for the left side of my mouth is gonna be covered as well. So I won't have to dip into this yet and we can save it <clears throat> for, our, um, for our fertility journey, um, which should be starting here shortly. So, medical gets its weekly $25. So it's currently sitting with 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 75, 80, and 85. So 285 dollars is what we have in medical, which is awesome. Linus and Leo, this is their vet fund. They'll be getting $15 today. We're gonna have to do three fives for these this week. So they're currently sitting with 100, 150, 170, 180, 190, 195, 200, 205, and 210. 
And that is actually already fully funded for Leo's upcoming vet appointment. Household is gonna go ahead and get its weekly 15. So that's sitting at 50, 70, 75, 80, and 85 dollars. I did buy a mandolin this week. So I took money out of here and um, I have a list of stuff I need to buy. So I have a feeling that this is gonna be fully depleted uh, next weekend and that I'm gonna have to go ahead and reassess how much money we're putting into household. Gifts is gonna go ahead and get $15 as well. So that's currently sitting at 100, 120, 30, 40, 45. Let's rearrange that. 50, 55, 60, 61, and 62. Let's count that once more. So we've got 100, 120, 130, 140, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, and 62. So we've got $162. Um, we did reschedule Father's Day due to us being in quarantine during Father's Day to this Sunday. So I'll be uh, seeing my dad and celebrating Father's Day a little later. Car maintenance is gonna go ahead and get its weekly 15 as well. So one, two, and three. So car maintenance is currently sitting at 100, 120, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, and 88. So $188 in car maintenance. And that's enough for each of us to get a oil change, which is good. Vacation is gonna go ahead and get its weekly $5. So vacation is sitting at 10, 20, 25, 30, and $31. Perfect. Next we have renter's insurance. If you saw our paycheck update yesterday, we did cash flow this year's, which was um, the policy for August 1st through July 30th of next year was $105. So this is to go ahead and fund next year's policy. One, two, and three. So that currently has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42 dollars. Car registration is next and it should be pretty much at the same. So let's go ahead and put three in there. So it's got 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. And these are due in March and April of next year. And last but certainly not least, we have our emergency fund. So our emergency fund has $1,000 sitting in our savings account. And I have that placeholder sitting right in the envelope. And it gets the last $4 from our sinking funds so that I can keep our sinking funds at a set $100. So we currently have 1,000, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, and 52. So we have $1,052 sitting in our emergency fund. I'm gonna have to, oops, what did I do? I'm gonna have to start using up some of the fives and singles in here, because it's starting to get really bulky. And with that, I was gonna say we were finished, but I forgot to put this week uh, groceries into our grocery envelope. So I'm just going back into our variable envelope binder and I'm gonna go ahead and take one of those $100 bills out, which leaves us with $200 in there. 
And that way I can go ahead and place that in my wallet for this week's groceries. I usually go on Sundays. And now friends, we are finished. <laughs> Perfect. Um, thank you for taking the time to go ahead and watch this. I'm happy that we are all set for this week. Um, I consider it a blessing every time that we can put money into our savings. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow with our June budget closeout and also with our quarter two um, closeout. So if you're interested, go ahead and uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, if not, I'll be back on Sunday with our July week two budget. I hope that each and every one of you has an amazing weekend, um, an amazing long weekend, and that you enjoy yourselves on July 4th if you're from the United States. Uh, please stay safe, have a great day, and I will see you soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye.